And here we have the Basilica uh, of Old St. Patrick's Cathedral, which is where it all started when you go down into where it, you know, it, it, 200 years ago, this venerable and beautiful church has offered uh, Catholics as well as people of all ages, culture, race and religion, background, the gifts of this bestowing upon it by God, faith, hope and love. Yeah, St. Patrick's Old Cathedral, named for Ireland's patron saint, is a trove of Catholic history. And Elizabeth Ann Seton, America's first native-born saint, established an orphanage on the site. And we're getting a good cheer from them there. <laughs> Listen to Archbishop Dolan spoke of the church's historic past. He said the title Basilica is awarded to the church because it's historical, spiritual, cultural and artistic value. He said this is a living, breeding, loving, embracing and serving parish. Can you imagine when they said they were going to build another St. Patrick's to call it a folly because they said people there would never go There was nothing there. Do you see the original photos? Yeah. It's hard to believe but Midtown really didn't exist. It was farm country up there. They built the cathedral and there was nothing around it. Obviously, things have changed in a big way. Yeah. Cardinal Hayes High School coming up in there. I think here. Hillary Byrne has decided to become a marcher. There he is, oh, marching is oh. on the green line. <laughs> there he is. I think we're going to see him march a couple of times, up and down. Yeah. Take, making sure everything is going well. Uh, the president of Cardinal Hayes, Dr. Michael E. Carey, and he says Cardinal Hayes High School remains a beacon of hope on the Grand Concourse. Way up there in the Bronx. There's Almost a thousand kids, grades through nine and twelve. Nine to twelve. Cardinal Hayes High School enjoys a proud and captivating seven decade history. How are you? Pays and all its loyal men. The 88 Brigade, New York Yard. They were kind enough to make me an honorary member when I was Grand Marshal in 2008. There is a slogan arched across the bottom of the Irish Brigade's battle flag in the language of the old country Ireland is read, Rav na drear or spear and lin, or who never ran from the clash of spears. The Bearden High School band from Knoxville, Tennessee. We have so many local bands, but we have a lot of groups that come oh. from around the country, if not the world, to take part. It's a big honor to be here for them, and they, they have to fundraise and it, uh, to get here, but they, it, it's, a real, it's a real goal for a lot of music organizations. And I'll part tell of, part you, of this event. our compliments have to go to the people who organize, organize the bands from out of state, because they've got all big bands. Look at, oh, yeah, look no. at the size of this band coming here. No. Group. Yeah, a lot of the bustle clubs and the parents, they all get together, they make money and they fundraise and they bust them up to New York City with a packed lunch and they're all back home by three. <laughs> On the way. <laughs> Let's... Quack file the daddy the end of the Brilliant. It's impressive how they also, you know, they probably have a number of uh, songs that they know, but they, they put some Irish tunes in for this march. They customize their presentation for this they, day. They really do, and they sound so good. Back to another local school now, the Dominican Academy of New York, New York, which is a Catholic college prep school for girls. Yes, and Beatrice McDonald's daughters, Maraid and Aoife, are marching today. They play the flute, keyboard and fiddle with Ashton Irish Cayley bands and the New York Mac Martin O'Grady band. 
Eva went to Ireland last summer, her mum told me, and the first ever youth camogie team to travel to Ireland last year. And there I see Ashley Kelly marching. Martina, her mother, is very proud of her. Hello. Good Sligo woman, the mother. And dad, of course, the Tyrone man. Chris. Chris. Yeah. And St. Anne's of Hampton. The one thing I love about them is the band's tartan is the County Loud tartan. And our home is based at St. Anne's of Hampton Roman Catholic Church. Sean Rogan is involved there. Cliff Roberts is the band manager. And Elizabeth Roberts as well. So here they go. That's the County Loud kit. They are wearing their arm sweaters, and arm sweaters take. Look at the drummers! Look, look at, at the drummers! Oh, 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 look at the little one! Oh my <laughs> goodness! They are so cute! Oh, oh my Up goodness! Up the wee one of the youngest we've seen. We've yeah. seen all ages. Has but to that's, be. Uh, and she's so good. The two of them. She's together. taking it seriously. This is. Oh yeah. Oh, there, there she is. Right, right up there. <laughs> Beautiful children. That's keeping, keeping the, the beat. Keeping the beat. Keeping the tradition alive for the next generation. Well done. That's such an important part too. Yeah. yeah these are, these are the, the, the marchers of tomorrow. Yes. The University of Mount St. Vincent in Riverdale in the Bronx. Oh my, they have a, a large collection with them. Hey everybody. Terry Lots of smiles there. Yeah, look at Terry Canopton and watching from home. Up I'm in the sure. Riverdale. They're just across the road from the top there. And boy, Tom, just looking down Fifth Avenue, I mean, there's so much more parade coming. It stretches all the way to Midtown. Oh, goodness. Oh, Tommy groupies now. <laughs> Tommy, Tommy, <laughs> Tommy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Look at all those happy faces. Just that's what I was just talking about before. You're looking down Fifth Avenue and you see that entire... Wow. Up all the way to the 40s there. The WWA America Celtic Organization. That's their pipe band and... Notre Dame, the Fighting Irish. <laughs> Welcome to New York. Oh my goodness, look at that little guy wearing an iron sweater, carrying the tricolor. Oh. I love the story, the Fighting Irish, Father Colby got it to them. He was the chaplain, they came back from the war and he became the president of Notre Dame, so they called him the Fighting Irish. And he was given absolution gush on the battlefield, and of course he had his finger in the air. So they built a, they built, uh, you know, a statue to him at Notre Dame, mm -hmm. and it started with his finger in the air. What do you think that signifies in college football? <laughs> fair catch. That's what fair they called catch. it after. Okay. Fair catch. Fair catch, Colby. Yeah. The Arab High School marching band from... The Royal Townhouse, they're absolutely fantastic. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's listen, they're brilliant. Yeah, they're really good. Memorial coming. Wasn't that where Kareem Abdul Jabbar went to school here? Yes. Yes. 
Somebody said yes. yes. There you go. There you go. I Mike got it. Kelly. There you yes. go. There you Mike go. Kelly is yes. Pat Kelly. Pat. It was Pat and Mikey's brother. <laughs> One of the great institutions oh, in New York. <laughs> yes, a shout out to Glenn here. Glenn, yeah. Glenn is watching from home with his dad, Always Mike. does. Always does, every year. Delighted that you're watching, Glenn. Thank you for watching. Power Memorial Academy, the alumni from there. And now, of course, we're starting to get into the ancient other Hibernian groups. This is the mile. Scully group from uh, Division 1 up in Yonkers, New York. Mike Morley out there in front with uh, Carrie and the banner, a Mayo man. Hillary is out to greet him. And Tommy, you're touching upon there. There are a number of these groups throughout the New York City area. Oh, there yeah. are many, many, many of them. All different. I'm not sure what's going on this size, but there's Curtis Silva, is that it? There's the Ancient Order there, my, and Friendship, Unity and Christian Charity. There's Mike Morley, look at him. And the Grand Marshal today in Dublin, you know, it was Patrick Kilty as uh, the Grand Marshal, and he took over hosting the Late Late Show in Ireland RTE. And every Friday, Kilty does that. And um, unbelievable, he took over from Ra Ryan Turberley. Kilty is from County Down, and he has spent many, many years on radio and television in the UK. He's doing a great job at the Late Late Show. they got some good young members too. Are they really starting them young, aren't they? I mean, yes, you're right. But that's encouraging, though, for the yes. future of all this, yes. And from Middletown, New Jersey, is Middletown High School South, the Screaming Eagle Marching Band. And their dance team all in green for St. Patrick's Day today. Let's see how the Screaming Eagles are a good band. Show that school proud. We, <laughs> that we, got a, we get a camera proud. battle here behind us. Look at <laughs> <laughs> with dueling cameras. Eh? Dueling okay. cameras, yeah. Dueling cameras. Here's the Northgate High School band. Oh yeah. my lord! Look at this. Another band like this. Goes. Northgate Viking Band. Yes, nothing less than the best. It looks like coming up here we have the Irish Business Organization of yeah. New York. A lot of people there, you know, Tracy, you've addressed yeah. them a couple of times, you've been down there. Yes, well, I'm, ha I'm happy to announce that I'm a member, and Paul Finnegan is the president. There's a marshal which will be born on the avenue, Joe Lee. Congratulations to Joe Lee. Doing a wonderful job. 
and Tammy Midlachlan and I know that Bridget and Ratty O'Brien is a member of the IBO, a media person doing a wonderful, wonderful job. Create business opportunities for Irish people in the New York and the United States, actually. It's a great network of Irish people and Irish American people getting together and promoting and helping each other. I always classify the man out in front, even when he was working at Belmont. He's an Irish farm, an Irish gentleman farmer. Yeah. And he takes direction well as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think, I don't, I, I don't think you saw that at home, but someone, someone was looking at Tommy, go, asking if they were allowed to walk past the camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy, Tommy gave him the all clear. <laughs> what did he get? Very polite, very polite, Mark. Very polite. Like, no, come on, come on. Oh, come on. Network, nice communication, banner. and risk So of many great people involved in this organization, let me tell you. And they meet every month. Oh my God! Oh, there's the Dolores. There's the Dolores. The the she's a member. There's the Dolores taking care of us all. The Grand Marshal needs, making sure we're all fine. She took care morning. of everybody. She really, really did. She's an absolute. Every organisation should have a woman like Dolores. Were they hurting? Were they, did they? Were they hurting cats? Was there a lot of organisation? <laughs> Do you, you know what? She gave us an itinerary for St Patrick's Day. Yeah. And uh, timed out to a T. Oh, and she made sure that we all. Had, you know, sometimes you get so excited you forget. And she sure. made sure that we were all okay and, and, and checking on us. She's just an absolute credit. Niall O'Leary School of Irish Dance and Niall is there Niall is. there. There he there is. is. Yeah, on the far man. side over oh, there. Yeah, there you go. Dancing. There you go. There, there, there. And look at all the little ones. He teaches look them all the small, Irish dancing. All oh, Ireland champion, Niall O'Leary. Absolutely adorable. They look great. Look at the costumes. Yes. Fantastic, all of them. Fantastic. They're walking and playing. That's <laughs> tough. soundtrack we have <laughs> with going to the bands to the impact pipes and back and forth. You know, right now we're talking about all the sights and sounds here in New York. We're also going to take an eye on some of the sights and sounds of Ireland. And now we go from the sights and sounds to smells with the Burf the Burin Perfumery. It's a small West of Ireland-based company making cosmetics and perfumes, which is inspired by the landscape around them. Everything is made on site by hand and in small batches. You're in the heart of the Burren. The Barren is a very beautiful and very unique place with limestone pavement, so rock covered in wildflowers. We're at the Barren Perfumery where we make perfumes, soaps, candles, lotions and face creams. Everything is made here by hand with love on site at the perfumery and it's all made from natural ingredients and incredibly high quality ingredients. So our ethos here is no shortcuts. The perfumery began in 1972. It wasn't open to the public and they made perfumes and soaps inspired by the landscape. 
The barren has 70% of Ireland's wildflowers. Some of our most popular scents are Fron, which is inspired by wild rose and honeysuckle. Arran, which is inspired by the barren Atlantic coast, so the wind, the sea, the sand, it's very fresh, very citrus. And Ilorn, which is inspired by the wild fragrant orchid. And my favourite, which is wild rose, which is 100% natural. We're very proud of it. When I first started working here, we had three employees. We now have 53 people working here, many of whom have been here many, many years. We have a variety of jobs, but we all do a little bit of everything when we have to. Everything is handmade here, and we also welcome thousands and thousands of visitors here every year, and they can see what things are made and how they're done. And we also run workshops, make your own perfumes, and there are tours. So there's a whole experience here. We welcome a lot of Americans here and they really love it. I think they really enjoy being in such a remote place but having such high quality and finished perfumes and products and also being able to chat to the staff who are very friendly and who spend time talking to them. People who visit often might stay three or four hours once they're here. It's like a gateway into the borough. They can also be in the middle of this beautiful landscape. Oh, you just get a sense of how great that is from afar. And even a great, we're back to some more of that dancing. But what a great troop here. Again, crossing so many ages as we take a look at this. Yeah, especially when you get down to the back of the group, because look at the size of them. It must be like, what, seven or eight years old? If that, they're young. Beautiful. And just one guy. See him? Brilliant. Handsome. There's one wee lad at the back, look at him. Oh, the tiny, oh my goodness, <laughs> isn't, isn't they lovely? Oh, no, They're from two. the Mini Ol Irish Centre. Of Mini Ol, I bet you made Lachlan's running that so good, Mary Lennon. PJ Smith, remember that, yes, Kit Smith. That's right, and Dolores Casey. Fantastic, all doing absolutely great work. Girls, you look lovely. Absolutely beautiful uniforms. You, you mentioned some of the younger ones, Tommy. They're coming oh up here on the God. screen oh, right look now. Look at the little guy. Oh, really? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the little guy. <laughs> he's catching up. He is. He's, he's, he's afraid of the crowd behind him. That's why he keeps looking <laughs> back. Look at him. <laughs> They got great energy. They've been marching for a while. That's, you know, yeah. It takes about 20 blocks before you get here, and they still got to yeah. go up to 79th Street. So, uh, very impressive. Very impressive, and it's a great day for them to be out. Absolutely fantastic. And Kids, there is Mary Kids Lennon. Smith out in front. Some more there familiar faces for you here, Tommy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mary Lennon, yeah. There she is. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> And following this group, we have a group from Park Slope, doing? Brooklyn, St. Xavier High School, following that. Happy St. Patrick's Day. And then we have another of these humongous bands. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> you, can, you can hear the intensity of the sound oh. as they come up wow, here. This is another band dancers. from Alabaster, Alabama. This is the Thompson High School. Let's give them a listen. You know that there are judges along the route here. They mark the bands, they mark the groups, how to perform. I was wondering that. I saw yeah. some of that. So, so there are some awards given out oh, to yeah. some of the groups. Yeah. At the end of the year, everyone, uh, the, the awards are announced. They're keenly sought awards as well. School. This is Regis High School. Hi guys. 
Hi. The Jesuits representing here with Regis. Tuition free Jesuit education. Look at all those young men. As the future of our country, the future leaders of the country. Yes. I see a Kerry jersey out there. I do too, yeah. Again, you see the different generations. Kids walking with uh, their parents, in some cases grandparents. A lot of, a lot of pride there. Find a few strollers in there too. The clock feels going strong for this band from Hartsdale. People come from all over the part of this parade, even up to New England there. This band from Providence, Rhode Island, Providence College representing, waving the flags there. And a lot of young future college students <laughs> going alongside the banner. Big waves from them as they see the cameras. How are you? What's going on? A lot of people saying hi and hello to us here. families marching here together, so many families watching from the stands, the crowd just enormous, and I might mention families of all nationalities, an absolutely picture-perfect day. I'm Sarah Wallace, and I'll see you next year. Back to the booth. Oh, it was a great day. I hope you at home have, are having such a wonderful day as I am having here. My day started off being aided, lads. Fantastic. Walking here with Sarah, Gus and Tommy and all this production staff. Thank you all. And enjoy the rest of St. Patrick's Day. Benacht, Lala Fordrick live. Like I always say, there is no place you would rather be on St. Patrick's Day than Fifth Avenue in New York. You will never get as much enjoyment out of anything. And the music, the people, it's been unbelievable. And Bannock Lala Padre. I've lost count of how many years we've been together. I, I mean, it, it's been a while, and it all comes back to you every yeah, year. I, I, I don't know about you, I get a little nervous before the parade. You know, it's a big broadcast, it's four hours, there's a lot to cover. And then the second it starts, all that nervousness just just fades away, and it's like being with friends and family in such a well-organized, well-oiled machine. It's, of course, I think to everyone who's part of the parade, it's personal as well. We all have personal connections, memories. It's a celebration. It's a commemoration as well. You really do run the emotional gamut. I think of my grandmother, who was born on St. Patrick's Day. This was a big day to watch her son, my father, march in the parade as a member of the fire department, and then for me to be part of it now as a broadcaster at WNBC. It, it, it's a big day for our family, so I think of them. I think of my mom who always cooked the corned beef, and I hope she gets to that again soon because I'm getting hungry. It's been great to celebrate the holiday with you. We wish you a very happy and safe St. Patrick's Day, and we'll see you next year. Patrick's birthday, Mass, and St. Just Not Available. It's not a derogatory here, and... Uh, you know. One of my favorite moments. <laughs> And uh, there's in the middle there. Tell me what? Honoring women, isn't it, Gus? Patrick's Day. Some more of the groups come up here along. 
And these groups there. Masses, they have pink and they are gay and. and, and Carol again. They have Ryan Smith and Donald. They're watching today. Dark value, the pipe story. When I was a child, I used to sit and. Did everything they. And she would stand there and wave in there. Boy,